everyone, today I have a very exciting day of meetings so I thought I'd bring you along with me so you can see what I get up to. I've currently just got the Garnier Ultra Lift eye tissue masks on. I actually keep these in the fridge and then when I just feel like I have a bit of puffiness or I'm having a bit of a pamper day, that's kind of, I'll just go and grab out the fridge and they're so cooling. I don't mean like a skincare fridge, I mean my actual fridge. <laughs> One of my like shelves in the door is actually dedicated to face masks. Yeah. If there's some redness on my face, I'm so sorry. I've just waxed my eyebrows. But this morning, I'm actually going to try a new product out with you before we get going and head into London. So if you watch my vlogs, I went to an event with Garnier about, gosh, was it a month ago, two months ago? And I saw this. Well, it's actually a conditioner that I saw and I was like, ooh. So this is the Ultimate Blends Nourishing Hair, Food, Banana and Coconut. So we've got the conditioner and then we've got the shampoo and then we've got the mask. But this is banana and shea butter, I believe, yes. So I've tried this. I love this. It's so good. And I didn't even know they did the shampoo and conditioner version until I went to the event. And today we're going to try them out. Now, obviously, it's kind of hard for me to actually show you me trying shampoo and conditioner. So I think what I'm going to do is just set the camera up. I'll do a little speed motion of me kind of trying it on so you can just see how it lathers up, how it acts on my hair. And then we're going to try this out as a leave-in. So it's a hair mask, but you can actually just pop it on the ends and leave it on. Now, this is for dry hair. These are for like frizzy hair. It's got a whole thing on the side. I'll try and show you when I do my actual light. I'll film a clip of it so you can see. Um, but my hair is it's not like that dry at the moment, but I think, I think genuinely it's the weather. So I'm just trying to like keep it as healthy as possible. So yeah, we're going to give this a go. Oh, it's much better. You can see me. It's light now. Um, Garnier are sponsoring this part of the video, but it is a product that I've been wanting to try for the last like two months. And yeah, obviously it's a very collaborative thing because they knew I wanted to give it a go. And they were like, why don't you just show everyone? And I was like, sure, why the heck not? So let's get into it. really pale right now but what do you think I think my hair looks really shiny it feels really nourished really soft you know that kind of wash they do where you can just feel like you want to run your fingers through it constantly that's how this feels so I'm very impressed I really like this as a leave-in I never thought to do it because I was like oh no maybe it'll make my hair feel like you know a bit greasy but no not at all I mean you can see it doesn't look greasy at all so big win on my part and those will be staying in my shower for use throughout the future. I'm currently just importing a ton of footage from my memory cards onto my laptop, getting sorted. I have quite a lot of editing to do. So that is gonna be done part of today. Obviously it's Tuesday. I had Monday yesterday to get started on the week. I actually filmed yesterday, which was really fun. And today I have a bunch of meetings. I'm seeing M and in between I have gaps of space, space, space to sit and edit. So that's gonna be really fun. But I'm really happy with my outfit today. Now there's a lot of post in the background so I really hope you don't mind that it's a bit of a mess but it's fine this is the reality of my life I mean to be fair my mess is always very contained and it's always like in pockets it's never like everywhere so I guess that's better than being everywhere so this is the look it's not finished but this is like the basics this jumper is from Zara I actually got this in the Zara haul that I did not too long ago I have worn it constantly like I love it I was all about those oversized knits that like covered my hips but no I'm loving this kind of more kind of cropped it's kind of slightly more form-fitting version love this and um, so it's like a slit at the side then I've got this and other story skirt on that again I featured in a haul a while back wow my voice I haven't worn it yet but I've got it on today and then I found these tights in Primark yesterday they were three pounds now they're very thin can you see they've started to like ladder already but They'll be fine for today and hopefully I'll get a few more wears out of them. But it's just a bit of a shame because they are gorgeous. But I'm going to put on a pair of boots with this. I don't know what jacket. We will see. Um, but yeah. I actually also went into boots yesterday and did some shopping for testing Thursdays. I got some Fenty bits which is very exciting. Because so many people were like try the Fenty mascara. Try the Fenty mascara. So you know what we're doing. We're trying it. So like I said, I'm just importing a ton of footage onto my laptop, mainly because I don't know if where I'm going is gonna have sockets. Well, I have a few different places, but it's actually the importing the footage that takes up the most, like, 
laptop. I want to say it's not even memory, power. Uh, so I'm thinking if I do it at home, then I'm going to have more editing time, which is perfect. I'm trying to think what else I need to do before I leave. I actually need to do my hair. Do you know what? It's so funny. When I watch my own vlogs back, because obviously when I edit them, I have to. My favourite bits of the whole vlog are actually these bits in the morning before I actually go anywhere. I don't know. Let me know what are your favourite bits of the vlog. But I'm just editing. I'm trying to think. I have three vlogs to edit. I love editing vlogs. They're really fun. But yeah, I need to think what jacket. I might just put a trench coat on with this. but Because it's not that cold like it's like six degrees which is cold but if i wear a jacket and a scarf i'll be fine i actually need to pack a bag as well wow that would help wouldn't it now i would love to take my little armor or something like that is that a scratch oh, no okay good Whew. i love my bags i really like care about them uh so i think i'm gonna take my never full because that way i can take my laptop that is essential and yeah i don't think i really need anything else i just need to put my bits in here Obviously, don't carry it like that. <laughs> Imagine. I was that girl at secondary school, 100%. All right, I'm going to go for... Oh, no, I don't want docks. I'm going to wear my Louis Vuitton Wonderland boots. I haven't worn these in a while. I tend to save them for, like, not special occasions, but kind of slightly nicer days where I feel like my outfits... Just because they're expensive and I want to... Oh, there's something in it. And I want to make them last as long as I possibly can. Definitely though, I if like something happened to these or they got stolen or something like that, I would find it really hard not to repurchase because I wear them that often. And like when I first got them, I wore these all the time. I, but I didn't used to have docks, so like I wore these exclusively. But then I bought docks, didn't wear them for about six months. I think I had my docks for six months. Sorry, you can't even see me. I think I had my docks for six months before I actually wore them. And then I started wearing them and I was like, oh they are great so no i'm really happy that i'm like actually found out that i like docs because i feel like it's just gonna make these last 10 times longer and we're all about that longevity these are harder to get on than docs though <laughs> okay we love we love <laughs> well i do anyway all right i've gone through about four coats but this is what we've settled on this coat is from jack wills it is absolutely gorgeous i have it in this kind of like tweedy print, I have it in uh, a beige colour, I have it in black, I have it in burgundy, it's brilliant, I would have it in every colour if I could. I then switched out the Burberry scarf for this one, this is Mulberry, it's just a plain thin black scarf. I wasn't going to wear a scarf because it looks really cute without, but then I kind of want the warmth around my neck and like I like having something to snuggle, bleh, snuggle if it's like windy, but if it, you know, if I don't need it I can put it in my bag. And then like I said, the Zara jumper. And other stories, skirt, Primark tights, Wonderland boots, and then I got my Neverfull. I could put my black Neverfull on and it probably match better, but everything's already in this bag and, you know, it's not that deep. <laughs> I don't know what perfume to wear though. I, I mean, no, me will probably just go for the Juicy Couture one. Or we might go for Giorgio Armani C. Oh, this is like a fresher C. What's this one? I might do this one. That, like, I love all the Giorgio Armani C fragrances, but I think... I'll do this one today. So I've just come out of lunch with Em, which is really nice. Well, we had like tea and cake, and I'm just heading to my meeting now, which is actually really, really exciting. It's a really important one, so I'm very excited to do that. It's a lunch, which is really nice. So we're gonna go eat some good food again. I'm just at the office doing some editing, just get some bits done. I had a really, really good meeting. Uh, I would show you Craig, but I feel like he doesn't want to be on camera today because he ran away. Yeah. <laughs> I was about so, to speak and then I was like, oh, you just, you just saw the camera. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Louis just made me a tea. I'm very happy about that. And I've just gone through my post and I'm trying to get Toasted Thursday edited. So I'm just hopping on the tube to go home. Can't wait to have a cup of tea, finish editing. That'll be the fifth tea of the day. It's quite bad, isn't it? It always happens when I have meetings. So it's like, I don't really drink coffee, but I can have endless tea. So yeah, I'm going to go finish editing. I've got five weeks through one of the videos, which is really good. I'm home and it's starting to get dark. I think what I'm going to do is take my makeup off and put a face mask on because my skin's been a bit of a problem recently. So I just want to give it some love or even just put a thick moisturiser on so I can sit and edit with that. Um, I did get some lovely bits and bobs from L'Oreal and I picked some bits up from my PO box which is really exciting so I can show you them if you'd like but I need to take, wow this is so boring, I need to take my towels up, double dryer, who am I? I feel like I blinked and suddenly I'm like 22 and a full grown adult and I just, I really don't know what happened. Do you ever have those days where you just want to get rid of every single responsibility you have and just like give up really i'm like mom i'm coming back hey so i thought i would show you what i got from l'oreal is this is this really yellow hey google make my living room lights bright white 
better. All right, so there is one specific product that I want to show you that the L'Oreal girls bought for me today. Obviously, I work with L'Oreal, these are gifted. Uh, I am an ambassador for L'Oreal, I have been for like four years, continuing on this year, which is so incredibly exciting for me. This is the product that I'm most excited about. So it is a serum, it's called the L'Oreal uh, Revitalift Filler Serum. Uh, it's got hyaluronic acid in, but it's got two types of hyaluronic acid. And um, it's like an anti-wrinkle serum, they call it, but really that's just kind of one of the things it does. It does so many other things. This is out in the UK, but it's not, like there's not been any promo behind it yet. It's literally just kind of like soft launched, it's in stores. However, in the US, one of these sells every single minute like every minute. So the price point, I believe it's around 25 pounds they said. So basically it's got like different size molecules of hyaluronic acid. So it kind of sits on the skin and under the skin. So it's like super plumping. It's basically it's supposed to be incredible. And in the US, it, like I said, it's just so popular. So I'm really excited to give this a go. I'm gonna get this out and just sit it on my desk and get going with that. Because I think, I think this is gonna be really good for my skin. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. And then uh, they also gave me some other bits and bobs, some guy's hair stuff. We know that's not for me. Uh, they topped me up on my face serum, which is the LV Frizz Killer, the Dream Length one. And then just some other bits and bobs that they know I love. Oh, these, I actually featured these not too long ago. I don't know what video it was in. Maybe it was like a vlog or something. These, these are the Revita Lift. Filler, th this is the f filler capsules. <laughs> These, this is the laser anew. So this one has glycolic acid in, this one has hyaluronic acid in. So this is like exfoliating, peeling, and this is kind of plumping, hydrating. And this one's got B5 in as well. So pretty much they're just capsules that you use daily. So it's like a kind of, um, like a routine sort of thing. You have a set amount and then you do it every day. And it's like a program. And then you see the results at the end and you're like, oh, they're really good really really recommend again they do them in boots and super drug if I was gonna try one I feel like you'll probably see the most difference with this one because it's like exfoliating as well however if you have any kind of sensitive skin or you like you've not really used much skincare in the past I'd go for this one because it's just super hydrating super plumping I mean they do a ton of other things you can have a read up on your own if you want but they're just great products and then this is exciting so I don't know if this is no, I think this must be out yet. I feel like they wouldn't have given it to me unless it was out. This is the Skinny Definer Brow Artist Pencil. Yes, it is what you think it is. It's very comparable to some other brow pencils that are on the market that I use all the time. However, guess how much this is? Now, L'Oreal brow products are incredible anyway. I'm not gonna open this because I am actually gonna give this to my sister because it's too light for me. Uh, I need to get the darker color. I'm gonna go to Boots tomorrow. Such a good price, so I'm really excited to try that. I'm just gonna put some hand sanitizer on my hands before I put that on my face. All right, so this serum, you literally need a couple drops. She was saying like two drops will pretty much do your face. One, two, I'm gonna do three, three. And I did actually try this earlier just like on my hands and it's super smoothing, super hydrating and just feels really kind of fresh and plumping. I mean, I don't know if it's the type of thing you're supposed to use at night, but I'm gonna try it. it says twice daily, apply two to three drops to clean dry skin, to the face and neck, follow with revitalist filler day cream so I'm gonna go put my cream like moisturizer on after this but you see my skin it's not it's not that great right now but it feels really nice after that so I'm gonna go pop my moisturizer on the top and then yeah I'm gonna actually why am I even put it back in the box I'm gonna continue to use this I'll let you know how I get on in a few weeks and see if I feel like it's made a difference or if it's something that I'd recommend obviously I can only go off what I've been told and I've been told that it's super popular but I'll let you know what I think. So I've just spent the last three hours editing, still haven't finished that video. Uh, I've managed to do the two thumbnails I needed to do, which is really good. Um, and I'm just uploading one of the other videos that I had ready to put up and doing the description box and everything. So feeling very, oh very, very prepared. Uh, I'm just sitting watching a bit of YouTube and then Love Island starts in like six minutes. So I think I'm just gonna call it a night and watch that because I have a very early morning tomorrow because I have a breakfast meeting so I need to get up and leave pretty sharpish which means I'll be traveling in rush hour which is kind of annoying because it just means it's busy but it is what it is I'm in central all day tomorrow so hopefully I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like let's hope it's not raining otherwise that's going to be a little frustrating the only reason I say that is because it's raining right now uh, oh yeah yeah it's due to rain all day tomorrow brilliant I should probably think about what I'm actually going to wear then but yeah, I just wanted to hop on and say goodnight. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog of just like a random day in my life. But yeah, I'll see you so very soon. Good night.